Good morning, everybody, and happy Friday. We made it. I'm very excited for it to be the weekend. This is the first weekend that Scott has had totally off in like six weeks. So <laughs> I am very excited to be able to um, enjoy the weekend with him home. We have, um, we don't have too much planned, but um, let's see, what are we doing? We're eating dinner with my mom tonight. There's a homecoming game tonight. Tomorrow, there's a soccer game. It's my nephew's first birthday and he's having a party and I'm really excited for that. It's gonna be so cute. He is adorable. Um, happy Friday, Marie. Um, okay, so how did yesterday go? It was good. I went to that offsite. Y'all, it took me an, almost an hour and a half to drive to Cornelius yesterday. It was supposed to on the map, it said like 50 minutes and it took like 30 extra minutes. It was crazy. Um, so I did a lot of driving yesterday. But it was good. The house that we went to where we had our meeting was um, on the lake and it was pretty and the, and the house was nice and I just enjoyed being with all of my coworkers and um, just, I mean, we did some presentations, we went out to eat. It was, it was a nice day. So I feel like I sort of had a little day off yesterday and then today I've got my Wells Fargo stuff on again today. We were actually doing a volunteer event this morning, so that's a little bit later on this morning. We're going to the um, Ronald McDonald House to bake some cookies. So I get to bake cookies for my job today, which is really exciting. Um, anyway, so this morning um, I was in 2 Corinthians 3. Um, I actually think that God is beginning to give me my word for next year. Sometimes, A lot of times it happens. Um, in the late fall, October, November. I don't know. That's weird. We're, I'm like on a different schedule <laughs> within the yearly thing. <clears throat> but a lot of times in October, November, I'll get the I'll get my word of the year. So, and that's going to be coming out of Second um, Corinthians three. And um, so I was just reading there today. It came up again in a devotional I was reading. Um, so I just wanted to share um, a little bit about that. Um, let me just read a little bit. Um, Let's see, I'm trying to decide where to start. Um, let's do a 2 Corinthians 3, 15. It says, even to this day when Moses is read, a veil covers their hearts. But whenever anyone turns to the Lord, the veil is taken away. Now the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. And we who with unveiled faces all reflect the Lord's glory, are being transformed into his likeness with ever-increasing glory, which comes from the Lord who is the Spirit. And um, I have been just kind of stuck on this whole idea of having a veiled or unveiled um, heart. And, it, you know, if, if you don't know, I'm sure you guys, many of you know the um, history, but like when Moses went to um, speak to the Lord on the mountain, the other, the Israelites would have to cover, um, put a, um, or he would have to put a, um, Moses would have to put a, hang on. Moses would have to put a veil over his face. And so, um, because they couldn't even, Israelites could not even interact with the glory that was reflecting off of Moses' face, much less interact with God himself. And so the scripture is talking about the fact that when we, um, when it says when anyone, anyone turns to the Lord. So when we are believers, this um, we have this veil that covers our hearts, and um, because we cannot interact with the Lord. But when the um, and we can't understand everything about the Lord. But when when we are believers, God takes this veil away, and we can um, we have we can understand things that we didn't understand before. Um, we can. Um, we have a freedom to interact with God himself. Um, and we also have freedom, because this is where the spirit is, there's freedom. We also have freedom to be able to obey God's law. Um, and so I'm just reflecting on all of this. The freedom that we have is that we um, do not have to, um, you know, veil our face. We don't have to, there's not a veil in between us and God. Like we have direct access to God. We have freedom in, in Christ and he has uncovered our hearts and our minds. And there are things that we can understand that, um, that the spirit can speak to us that people who are not believers cannot do. They cannot do. They cannot understand. They cannot interact with God. And when us as believers, we are unveiled. We, there is no veil in between us and God. We have the freedom to speak to him. We have the um, ability to understand him and the ways of God. And we have the ability to obey him. And so I'm just kind of, I don't know, in all this morning, like, wow, it's like, like just God himself has, has done this like there was something that was there was that there's this thing for some people this veil that they really can't 
interact, they really can't understand. And yet I have this gift that I've been given through Christ to be able to interact with God and to be able to understand God and obey God. And I don't know, today I'm just thankful and in awe of that. Um, and how does that change my day? I think that changes our day because then we don't take it for granted. I think we seek the Lord and talk to him because we're able to and um, we can ask him for understanding the spirit to speak to us um, and just and enjoy that intimacy that we have with God that not everybody has we have a special intimacy with God through um, Christ and the Holy Spirit that not everybody has and so let's not take it for granted today let's spend time with the Lord and um, and remember and and really guys when we do that then we begin, you know, we have these unveiled faces that begin to, one, we are transformed, and two, we begin to reflect God's glory. We talked, I think, yesterday about being, or the day before, I don't know, about being the light. I think it was yesterday. About being the light, and um, that's how it happens. When we actually spend time with the Lord, we, we begin um, reflecting that light in, like, you know, people can't, like, can you just tell being around us that we're reflecting His glory. So, um, let me pray for us real quick. Uh, Lord, thank you so much for taking the veil away. Um, thank you that we have direct access to you, that we can talk to you even now, Lord. You feel so close. Um, even in this, this moment, I'm sitting on my back porch and I have friends watching through their phones um, or their computers. Technology is crazy, but I, I feel like you are in our midst and just thank you that we have direct access to you Thank you for the freedom. Thank you for the opportunity to interact with you Thank you for the understanding that you give us I just pray that we are so aware of it today that you would be so close and that we would reflect your glory today in Jesus name Amen All right, um, I said good morning to Marie. I see that Sherry joined and Stephanie joined so good morning to you guys I hope you guys have had a good week um, and enjoy. I think Stephanie um your husband might be off this weekend too, maybe. Um, first weekend in a long time. So, um, yeah, we're going to enjoy our weekends. Um, let me see what Marie said. Reminds me of last Sunday's message at church. The spirit we have is the same spirit that raised Jesus. Yes, it's just amazing. It's amazing. Um, and he is powerful um, and yet so close and so intimate. That's what's amazing to me is um, we have direct access to that. Wow. Uh, Stephanie says yes yes your husband is off so enjoy your weekend Stephanie I hope you guys do some have a date or something do something fun oh look Tucker Tucker's out here he's ready to go so I probably should go get the kids um, off to um, off to school oh Stephanie says we're going to frozen tomorrow with the kids okay good you're doing something fun this weekend very good we'll enjoy it all right guys I'm gonna hop off here you guys have you all have a great weekend um, and we'll see you back on Monday bye guys